Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically wide receiver DJ Moore out of Maryland. Uh, I've already done a video on DJ Moore in terms of his production data, but this video is going to cover the rest uh, because he tested at the Combine and it was fantastic. And I'm just going to give you the entire profile right now in terms of his production data and his athleticism data and what his overall upside could be at the next level based on these particular areas. If you're new to the channel and you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So again, if you're not familiar with what market share data is, if you're not familiar with, uh, with what an explosive lower body strength score is, a speed score, a flexibility score, all those terms will be in the description. But with all that stuff out of the way, let's get to his production profile. So first off, in terms of his production data, he had a 99.27 out of 100 uh, passing yardage market share production score, which is very, very high. Uh, when you look at the five-time All-Pro threshold, three-time All-Pro threshold, three-time Pro Bowl threshold, and long-term starter threshold, he pretty much hits above all those areas. So again, DJ Moore is on another level, easily the most productive wide receiver in this draft class when it comes to his market share data. Uh, and then, of course, when you look at the averages at the position, so this is what the average All-Pro market share production score is, the average Pro Bowl score, and the average starter score. J.J. Moore is well above the averages in terms of All-Pro potential, Pro Bowl potential, and starter potential. And then you get to the athleticism testing. Uh, had a 97.12 explosive lower body strength score, 92.65 speed score, and 91.74 flexibility score. Uh, based on my data since the 1999 NFL Draft class, you really only need to have one 54 or higher athleticism trait in order to be a multiple all pro slash pro bowl wide receiver at least the vast majority of them had at least a 54 or higher score and dj moore has a 90 plus percentile score in every single category uh the bottom line is when you look at the overall data with dj moore you look at his production data you look at his athleticism data you look at the fact that he played one of the toughest schedules in college football as well uh, in the big 10 uh, you add in his age. He's one of the youngest wide receivers in this draft class also. And DJ Moore is easily the best wide receiver on paper in this draft class. Um, there really is no other wide receivers in this class that comes to him in terms of a guy that just hits 99 plus percentile market share production, 90 plus percentile athleticism traits in every single category. Like there's no weaknesses here in terms of his athleticism. And I think when you look at all that stuff, he definitely is the best wide receiver on paper in this draft class. Now, does that necessarily make him the best wide receiver in this class? That's also up to debate. Uh, you definitely will have the production hounds that will have him as the number one guy just based on their production data. And then you'll have film guys that will have a couple other guys better than him in you know other ways. But I think the bottom line is, if you view DJ Moore as a top three or top five wide receiver in this draft class, he definitely deserves to be in that area based on all of his indicators. I think the future is very, very bright for this guy uh, if he gets into the right team uh, with the right scheme uh, to utilize his talents to the best of his abilities. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.